5 details everyone missed in everything, everywhere, all at once. Hey guys, today we're going to list 5 details everyone missed in everything, everywhere, all at once. Let's get right into it. Number 1. The inspiration behind everything, everywhere, all at once. According to Vulture, the inspiration for everything, everywhere, all at once can be found in the most unlikely of films, Sherman's March. The concept of modal realism was introduced to directors Daniel Scheinert and Daniel Kwan in this 1985 documentary. From there, they started digging and learned more and more about professional theories about the multiverse. The concept, which is a common theme in everything from art to mathematics, was immediately appealing to the filmmaking duo because it appealed to their maximalist tendencies as artists. The pair is always looking to cram as much as they can into their directorial efforts, whether it's a music video or a feature film, so being able to explore many different dimensions was extremely appealing to their creative sensibilities. Despite how ridiculous Daniel's work appeared to be, these two directors were also very interested in the science behind these concepts and conducted extensive research. This provided some tangible grounding for the craziness that would later be unleashed in their exploration of the multiverse in everything, everywhere, all at once. Number 2. Jackie Chan was the original choice to headline the movie. It's difficult to imagine a version of Everything Everywhere All at Once without Michelle Yeoh. She is the heart and soul of the film, with scenes featuring actual archival footage of Yeoh at events such as the Crazy Rich Asians premiere. Everything Everywhere All at Once and Yeoh are so inextricably linked that it's hard to believe she wasn't the first choice for the role of Evelyn. Originally, this figure was going to be a man, and he would have been played by another silver screen legend, Jackie Chan. Co-director Daniel Scheinert told The Hollywood Reporter that he and co-writer Daniel Kwan initially thought everything everywhere all at once needed a male lead because it was an action film and that they were considering Jackie Chan for the role. Yo was always supposed to be in everything everywhere all at once, but she was originally cast as the protagonist's wife. However, as they worked on everything everywhere all at once, the directors realized that if Yo's character was the protagonist, the story would be much better. Everything everywhere all at once suddenly had a whole new world of narrative possibilities. While this meant abandoning the idea of casting Chan, considering how good Yo is as Evelyn, it's impossible to complain about his absence. Number 3. How the Russo Brothers Became Producers Anthony and Joe Russo aren't just the directors of some of Marvel's most profitable films, they also run the production company AGBO, which produced everything everywhere all at once, among many other projects. This zany multiverse adventure is unlike anything the Russos have ever done, but there was a very logical explanation for how the Avengers Endgame directors became involved in this film. The duo told Sci-Fi that they wanted to work with Everything Everywhere All at Once directors Daniels after seeing and being impressed by their 2016 film Swiss Army Man. The Russos were also reminded of how they got their big break in Hollywood when Steven Soderbergh took an interest in the then-unknown duo. The Russos saw an opportunity to do the same thing by lending their clout to whatever Daniels did next. As a result, AGBO became involved with these filmmakers and agreed to be a part of everything, everywhere, all at once. Number 4. Originally, Aquafina was supposed to star. After years of development, everything, everywhere, all at once began to gain traction in August 2019. According to The Hollywood Reporter, Michelle Yeoh and Aquafina are in talks to star in the film, which would reunite the two actors after they worked together on Crazy Rich Asians. It also added star power to everything, everywhere, all at once with the presence of Aquafina, who was fresh off the arthouse hit The Farewell. Dan Kwan and Daniel Scheinert had previously directed an episode of Aquafina's TV show, Aquafina is Nora from Queens. However, by the time Everything Everywhere All at Once was set to begin filming in January 2020, Aquafina was no longer a part of the cast. The official reason for this change was never revealed, but it was most likely due to scheduling conflicts, as Aquafina had roles in other projects such as Shang-Chi and The Legend of the Ten Rings that were filming at the same time. While the loss of Aquafina was unfortunate, it did not derail Everything Everywhere All at Once, which continued with principal photography and secured other lead performers such as Stephanie Hsu. Perhaps there is an alternate reality where viewers can see Aquafina co-star in Everything Everywhere All at Once. Number 5. What drew Michelle Yeoh to the role of Evelyn? Even though Michelle Yeoh's legendary career has spanned countless genres and iconic films, she had never appeared in a film quite like Everything Everywhere All at Once before. With the role of protagonist Evelyn, 
Yudo not only got to hone her comic timing and fight choreography, but she also got to play in a much more absurdist world than she'd ever experienced before. Some actors might balk at being asked to participate in such an unusual feature, but Yo was excited from the start, owing primarily to the opportunity to work with directors Dan Kwan and Dan Scheinert. Yo was also excited to play a character like Evelyn who embodied an archetype that she felt was frequently erased entirely in cinematic narratives. Not only did Yo get to play that role, but she also got to play her as an empowered protagonist, which piqued her interest. On top of that, Yo was enticed to join Everything Everywhere all at once because of how committed everyone involved was to the film. Such zeal is contagious, and it was one of the many factors that led to Yo's participation in this unforgettable offbeat film. That's all for today, and we'll be sure to catch you all in the next one.